G'day guys, just a very quick one today. Uh, my top five most frustrating things about buying a newspaper in this day and age. Number one, the Newcastle Herald is worth 30 more cents than the Daily Telegraph, but is half as big. So half the content. Please explain. Uh, maybe niche content for Newcastle. Is Newcastle niche? Requires uh, a little bit more money. Number two, uh, you can't link through to a story. So, you know, uh, the telly's got a uh, 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 John Farnham uh, story in it today. Um, but, you know, if I was doing this on my iPad, I could link through and listen to the voice sing. Um, a lot of you are probably thinking that's, that's a good thing. Uh, number three most frustrating thing about buying a newspaper is shit. <laughs> I mean, the, the classifieds no longer exist. And for, for blokes, the classifieds were, were a big part of buying the newspaper. Well, for me, it was anyway. So because you've got Gumtree and eBay and probably a whole bunch of other ones that, um, that I don't uh, use or am aware of, um, yeah, the classifieds, which basically a lot of people that worked in newspapers would always say that the classifieds paid for the rest of the newspaper. Um, the content, uh, there's too much sport in it. <laughs> there's too much sport in it. That's the fourth most frustrating thing, is that I think because a lot of the market that still buy newspapers are buying probably for the sports results and that, I don't know, probably it was always the same. It just feels overrun um, with sport. And uh, the fifth most frustrating thing is um, I don't cook fish and chips and I'm not moving, so they just... And I don't have a cat to line a kitty tray uh, with, so I just throw them out and that's frustrating um, because I don't... I don't think they're made from recycled paper. Why aren't newspapers... That maybe should be the fifth thing. Why are newspapers not made from recycled paper? Uh, and if they are, uh, please inform me. And if they're not, um, you tell me what frustrates you about buying newspapers. We're on holidays at the moment, so I, I very rarely buy the newspapers now. I usually watch them. I watch them. I usually read them from my iPad. But anyway, tell me, drop a comment below, tell us what is frustrating about buying a newspaper or a product that has been superseded, like CDs and DVDs, uh, by distribution on the internet and through the World Wide Web. Anyway, it was great talking to you again, and I'll see you tomorrow.